is what we're saying. We I said, you know, what would be the most amazing thing is that I've already said this tonight, mm. but and you've said it's not going to happen. But the most amazing thing would just be if you could just, when everybody's saying to you, you look amazing. We're not saying that to make you feel fabulous. We're saying it. Yeah, you know, like you say to me, when I came down, you went, you should wear that dress for your eviction. When I say to you, oh my God, you look amazing. I'm not saying it because I think that's what you want to hear. I'm saying it because I think you look amazing. It's true. And so true. sometimes, so true, the greatest thing and the, and the biggest achievement for no, you, no. I suppose, would be if you would just look in the mirror once. Dry. Just go, Dry. Yeah, I I I, oh my God, that's no, me. That Unless, of course, you think we're all wrong. Now, the chances of that are very slim. All of us. Because we like. No, you're probably just being nice. No, no we're no, not. No, no, no. Me you being nice, nice are you all of us. <laughs> Look at me and Jim both go, would we be nice? Yeah. No, but all of us wouldn't. <laughs> I would and you say saying that makes us sound insincere. Tonight, the, I, I'm speaking on behalf of the group. They put Pardon your head me. on a pillar, well, perhaps some of the group, and say, I'm a worthwhile person with a lot to offer. Well, you, 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 you said something to me when we was in the alien room. You said, I, I stand up for my readers. That's what you said to me. And I said, why do you write Thank stuff you. about what people think? And I said, why? Remember we had that little conversation? Yeah. And I said, why do you say what you say about people? <sighs> and you said, because I speak for the people um, of what I, th that my readers expect me to say. So for you to, uh, I don't believe that you've got such little worth because you are a leader. You perceive yourself as a leader. Do you understand? You're, you you yeah. turn around and you talk on behalf of what you perceive as other well, people I, see. No, so what you, I do in my writing is I stand up for women who think they're too awful and ugly and repulsive to go So outside. then you're a leader. Exactly. So then that's you're a exactly leader. What you feel. So then the self-worth is not what you think. <laughs> but that's exactly what you feel, so you're contradicting yourself. And it's up to you, as Linda is saying, to put that toe in the water. Put that toe in the water with people here that love you. Uh, we're all in here. We, we all love you. Put that toe in the water. How good will that be for all the others? Yeah. You know? But how, it's, it's I don't know why you don't think you don't look OK. You look amazing. You've got the biggest eyes ever. No, You've got I literally, a tiny I, nose. I literally Shush. can't eat. I, no. <laughs> You've got an amazing smile. When you smile, your eyes light yeah, up and you get these yeah. little dimples. You've got a brilliant figure. You're, you have the driest, funniest personality. Like, I love talking to you because you, you literally make me cry inside, like, of You laughter. are terribly funny. You, you are, are so terribly funny. funny. Yeah. And I can't understand, because I'm so, as Jim would say, probably arrogant and self-obsessed, that why <coughs> you don't feel like you're... Yeah, but you can't, you oh, can't just so feel better. that because people tell you that. But let me tell you now, Linda, if I run out of clothes... That's the cleverest thing you've... Anyone's ever said all night. That, that's the crux of it. You just can't, if you can't, you can't make yourself feel that if you don't feel it. But let me tell you now, if I run out of clothes, I'm stuffed. Because none of their clothes are going to fit me the way they fit you. I couldn't go to Sam, can I borrow one of your dresses? Because you've got a great figure. But you've got to no, appreciate that. No, but without clothes that. on, I'm hideous, seriously. Oh, my God. You are, from when you came in... The difference. I, can, I was like, who is this woman? A, you're a journalist, put you in, back, on a back step with Absolutely, me anyway. Yeah. Uh, never mind, I don't, can't speak for everybody else, but I imagine it wasn't the I, ideal job to have coming in here. But B, you were weird. I just thought you were odd. But now, I love you. I absolutely, and I said, I like, I can't wait to go out for you. Just me and you for lunch. I'll ring you. What are you doing? Let's go have lunch. Let's talk. I find you, and you are hand on the, one of the most interesting people I've ever met in my life. You're smart. You're attractive. You're successful. You, you're selfless. You're opinionated. You're, you're opinionated in a really polite way. I don't have that. Yeah, but then really every is day, just day by so day, you should just go. Do you know what? Actually. I've had a good day today, even, if, yeah, even if it's at the end of the day. Yeah, sometimes I wake up and I think, well, I haven't murdered anyone. Absolutely. You, know? but the you time... keep talking about killing people as well, I'm just slightly worried. I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> but you know when you should do that is at the end of the day, when you go, I'm so I've had a great no. day today. Yeah. I've got sweat. That's all right, love. <laughs>